Hey everybody, this is Stormland. Thanks for joining me in another one of Chris's beer reviews. So today, I got a double fermented beer for you. It is from a wonderful company that has pr produced um, many fine beers in the realm of Dominus Vibiscus. Now, I've had Dominus Vibiscus Blonde, Triple, Triple, or and the Double, which is what I'm about to have right now. It recommends that you drink this out of a chalice, which is what I have. Actually, it says a goblet, but Goblet and a chalice is uh, very close to one another. It says, Our double is a complex mahogany brown brew with an impressively aromatic personality. Its nose of candy fruit, dried raisins, and star anise seg seguz, seguiz, seguiz, into a rich, nearly full mouthfeel that beckons you to savor this, this delicacy. This is so cold that it's making my hands cold. It is from the micro brasserie Charlevoix. Uh, you can check them out at microbrasserie.com. It's a 500 milliliter bottle at 8% ABV. Now, one thing that I noticed about this is we're looking at a double fermented beer here that's dark. So that's going to be a treat for me. Um, same typical Dominus Vibiscus cap here. Now, the blonde was the best blonde I've ever had in my life, and the triple was phenomenal. So the double has got to be that good. I don't know if you were with me there on my last review that I tried to do where the the beer was botched. Now, we got a one and a half, almost two finger head here. Uh, it's as black as they come. You, you only get a tiny uh, little tint of brown at the bottom here. Small, medium, large bubbles off-white colored head, it's more of a uh, almost leading more towards a caramelized looking color. I'm not picking up anything off the nose. Um, for those who know me and for those who don't, I just want to uh, round up the fact that I, I can only breathe out of one nostril. This isn't a, a major issue here, but a lot of people have this issue where uh, throughout the day you fluctuate, you breathe more out the right, right nostril than you do the left and vice versa. So, see how it tastes. Wow, for a double, it's incredibly smooth. You know, sometimes uh, double, triple, quadruple fermented beers tend to be um, over carbonated. Uh, this one surely does not have that problem whatsoever. I'm loving the uh, wonderful dark fruity undertones in this beer. You're not picking up on any roasted flavors or any earthy tones. And I can definitely say that um, it tastes like an 8% ABV. So one of the few times where I've actually drank a beer where the, the taste of the alcohol versus uh, the percentage of the alcohol actually matched one another um, very well. It's very neat because I actually kind of um, pick up on like a candy taste in the background, which is really neat. It's like a candy taste without being sweet or sour. It's got something to do with the sugar. I think I mentioned something on the back about candy. There you go. It's got a uh, candied fruit. So that explains where uh, that candy taste is coming from. I wonder how they candied it. I wonder what they did. But uh, this is absolutely phenomenal. Um, it goes for, I think, $4.50 around that range. It's really good. Really, really good. Incredibly well-rounded. Um, now, clearly, there's there's fine amount of carbonation here. Just because I'm saying it doesn't taste like it's too carbonated doesn't mean that there's no carbonation in there. But uh, highly enjoyable. There's something there's always a place in my heart for for dark beers that have been double, triple, quadruple fermented. <clears throat> Very good. All right, well, that's probably 
all I'm going to be saying for today. Keep your eyes peeled for this one. Every release that this brewery, uh, brewery has come out with under Dominus Vivisco has been a delicacy. My favorite is still the Blonde. You should check out my review on that one. Uh, you'll, never mind. you got to see it to see what I'm going to say. First beer I've ever had where it's had candied fruits and you could actually taste candy. So uh, that's really, really interesting. Anyways, uh, I'm going to give this a uh, an 8 out of 10. Uh, very good beer. I can even give it an 8.5. Uh, keep your eyes peeled again. Thanks for joining me on another one of my reviews. Don't drink and drive, people. Street responsibly. Stay alive.